As far as Judas and the Black Messiah, I thought it was a good movie. Uh, I, I, I would have wished, and this is not a criticism because the movie was excellent. This is not a criticism because the movie was excellent. I wished they had not stopped with ancestor Fred Hampton's assassination. Judas and the Black Messiah. I wish they would have kept on for at least a few months after the assassination. I thought the investigation should have been in the movie. I feel that the post-assassination investigation should have been in the movie. The post-assassination investigation should have been in the movie. They should have showed how the police tried to cover up the assassination by lying and saying that of the 99 bullets that were shot into that apartment, they came from Black Panthers, which was not true. Only one bullet, one single bullet came from the Panthers. The other 98 bullets came from the police. And the single bullet from the Panthers was fired as a reflex from our ancestor, Mark Clark, who was the first to be murdered, the first to be shot, because he was on security detail. And when he got shot, the reflex caused him to pull the trigger. And that was the only bullet that came from a Panther. And it was only a reflex bullet, not an intent to kill bullet. The investigation cover, the cover up was just as important as the assassination itself. I wish they would have took it a few months later. I wish they would have included the post assassination investigation but the movie was great but the movie was great and i love seeing all those beautiful sisters with natural hair those sisters in that movie were so beautiful so beautiful the queen who played fred hampton's wife the sister who was the main uh panther who had the shootout with the police beautiful the all natural hair afros Beautiful skin, deep, dark butter pecan, cinnamon was in there, pistachio, butter, almond, caramel, sweet brown sugar, natural hair. That's how my queen's supposed to look. That's how the queen of FDMG is supposed to look. That's how she got to look. No blonde hair, no weaves, wigs, straightening combs, all natural. All natural. Now, people ask me about Daniel Kayula playing Fred Hampton. Again, again, if he has a pan Africanist spirit, I have no problem. But if he is just a black British coming over here making some money playing black heroes, I have a problem. He's biologically African. Is he psychologically a pan-Africanist? I don't know. Maybe he's on some British tribalism. I don't know. If he is, he don't need to be playing no ancestors of mine, right? But if the brother has a pan-African mindset, I'm good, okay? I'm a little concerned because I see in his interviews, he like emphasizing that British accent. I'm a little concerned about that because no African playing African heroes should be emphasizing a British accent in an interview. That's not an African tongue. That's not an African tongue. The reason you speak that tongue is because the British came into your ancestral homeland of Uganda and colonized it. They went into the Caribbean islands and colonized it. So we should not be emphasizing British tongue. So that gives me a little, I'm a little concerned that he may just be a black British Negro making money in Hollywood. I hope that's not the case. I hope he has a pan-African consciousness. I have no problem with Africans in the diaspora playing my heroes if they consider themselves to be one of me. If they consider themselves to be one of the global African family, I have no problem with it. But if they see themselves as different, they have no business playing heroes of mine. With that being said, with that being said, I'm a little concerned because I'm not seeing no American Africans being cast in ancestral roles. I'm, I'm getting a little concerned. 
I'm not seeing no American Africans being cast to play movies starring American African heroes. The sister who played Harriet Tubman, who has a white man, she's about to play another African shero, American African shero. So why you got to keep getting our family in the diaspora to come and represent American African ancestors on the big screen when you got American African uh, actors right here. I'm a little concerned about that because y'all use the black man with a white wife from the UK to play Dr. King. Y'all use Daniel for Fred Hampton. Y'all use that other sister for Harriet Tubman. She got a white man. Y'all use the other sister to play Tupac's mom. I'm seeing all these black British playing American African ancestors, which is not a problem if they have the mindset, but it still can be a problem if you're discriminating against American Africans playing the ancestors that we gave birth to. It's no different than if you brought all American Africans to the UK and you used all American Africans to play British African ancestors. Why aren't you using any British African actors? Why are you only using American African actors to play British African ancestors? I would have a problem with that. If you're going to bring nothing but Africans in the diaspora to Africa to play Nelson Mandela and Patrice Lumumba and Kwame Nkrumah and you don't use any continental African actors and you only outsourcing the African talent, I would have a problem. The point that I'm making is although it is totally acceptable to use any member of the African family to play any ancestor from any part of the earth, even though I am totally in support of using any African actor to play any African hero from any part of the African world, I have no problem with that, but you still have to show respect to the particular segment of the African family that gave birth to that ancestor. It would be disrespectful to not use continental Africans to play African heroes in movies when you have so many African continental actors right there in Africa. It would be disrespectful to bring American Africans to the UK to play British African ancestors when you have so many British African actors right there. And likewise, it is disrespectful to constantly bring British African actors to America to play American African ancestors when you have so many American African actors. You understand me? I'm not against it. But you must still be democratic. You must still be fair. You must still practice equality. You understand? There must still be justice in the distribution of the roles. Because right now I'm seeing too many British actors playing American African roles. Are you saying that American African actors aren't good enough to play their own ancestors? And the people that you're using, the people that you're using, they're not even conscious. Most of them have white spouses. Most of them are not even conscious. So it's not like you're bringing a conscious brother or a conscious sister. The sister who played Harriet Tubman was a coon. The brother who played Dr. King was a coon. So what I'm saying to uh, uh, all these uh, black movie producers in Hollywood don't start discriminating against homegrown talent. We all African. We are one family. I do not do tribalism, but I do believe in justice. I do believe in fair play. I do believe in equality and I believe in equal opportunity. And I'm not seeing that when it comes to American Africans being allowed to play American African heroes. This is the Prince of Pan-Africanism signing off. One love.